Hi! For our project today, we are going to make a face. We are going to teach our children how to locate the face features. We will need a paper where we can lay all of the face features. You can use a cardboard in order for you to get your uh, face built on. We will also need some different types of paper or colored paper in order for us to give the opportunity to the children so they can um, locate the things in their place. Okay, so first of all, we will need, of course, as always, your very valuable support for us to have already cut, pre-cut the circle or the oval or whatever surface you will use as the a face of the child. Right now, if you can see, I have a painted paper, pre-painted paper with a watercolors. So I will start shaping the shape of the face and locate it in the center. Yeah. So for that, we only need to guide them into pasting a Silicona liquida, a liquid silicone that is called, is a very, very good companion for our projects because it, it is a strong glue and it's safe and will paste things very, very quickly. Okay, so then you will probably want to ask them what type of hair would they like to work on on their on their person right so i suggest if you as parents want to have pre-cut paper you can have pre-cut paper i believe that is a very good idea to have them tear the paper it is a very good practice for them to tear the paper. How do they tear the paper? By grabbing with two fingers, mommy finger and daddy finger together, and one hand moves forward and the other one backwards. One hand moves forward and the other one backwards one hand forward and the other one backwards and of course it could be super cool if they make a lot of little tiny and thin strips so the hair of this person that they are going to work on can be abundant right so you can also have different uh, tones of color for example I have black here, a little bit of black, so I want to I want to give a little bit of contrast in the different uh, areas of the hair. Yeah, so I have a lot of hair in this human that I am going to assemble right now, right? So there you go. 
Uh, it would be super nice if you help them to apply the um, glue. We are going to apply the glue on the area that belongs to the hair, right? I like to use the point of of the of the silicone blue in order to spread the the glue right so well then they start taking decisions again remember last time i was talking to you about having them decide it is very important for them at this at this process in this uh, stage of their lives that they discover that they can take decisions. So they will probably want to do the hair of a particular color. Whatever color they choose is allowed. So if they say, I want this person to have blue hair, okay, blue hair. You know, they, you can also, it would be super interesting to ask them. Let's say that they say, Um, I want to have green hair on this person. You may also ask why. So there you can start discovering their ideas and like the reason why they take those decisions. So it's, it's very interesting to gather that information and that's, In the Reyo Emilia world, that is called documentation, okay? So you document these different type of information you gather from their answers or, or when you listen to them playing, you can listen to the conversations they have because they create stories when they play. So it is very interesting to have a like a notepad where you can have all of the things that you listen, that you think that they are particular or unique, so you can discover how your child thinks. What are their interests? And, and then it's going to be super good for you as parents because there, it's going to be a better connection because you feel that you know what, you know, they, they are... Uh, drawn to they, they they want to have in life or or what would be probably their future interests because for example if they like to build or talk about building stuff so there you go you will know that if you give them building blocks wooden building blocks or wooden pieces of paper they will be super happy and excited about that and there would be a very interesting um, discovery process for them attractive discovery process so the better option the more options you give them the better for them the more enriching um, experience it will be yeah so this is a project for it could be for nursery, for pre-K, even for, for kindergartners, uh, because you will see how the different ages they produce. They, they, you can even do this every year, and you will see the evolution of how they manifest the images of the people they create. You will see the development. You will see how they have grown across all of those uh, months. And what they have gone through will be an influence for them to uh, develop their understanding of the world. So now Uh, you can give them the opportunity to have googly eyes if you want, but in my opinion, I think that it would be most enriching to have eyes, eyes pre-cut, you know, you just 
cut an, an almond shaped piece of cardboard and you tell them this is going to be the eye so where would you put the eye and then they're they're gonna paste it they're gonna paste it wherever they want just let them be yeah so however they paste they their eye is okay then you will have another piece already cut that is going to um, resemble the nose so it could be something like this right like rounded here like a triangular shape and then here you can give curved corners right curved corners here and then you can cut the nostrils and you will invite your child to say this is the nose where would you put the nose and so then they locate the nose wherever they locate the nose it's fine okay yeah so there is the nose so then after that you will give them the piece of the mouth i suggest that you may have a piece of the mouth already cut in the same skin color like neutral you know like un uncolored lips and i also suggest that you may have colored lips okay why because some children you don't know who they are making maybe some children are inspired in their moms okay so they probably would like to put the mom with the lips you know with lipstick and if they are doing their dad of course the dad will have a skin color right so in my case this is a woman um, and of course I am going to paste the mouth with red lipstick I chose red lipstick because my grandma uh, loves red lipstick right so now you know that this is my grandma <laughs> Okay, so then uh, after you have given this, uh, you can have a marker ready for them to go over some of the features of the face. Just let them be. We already know that they, as early childhood stage are going to be drawing lines that are not per se you know exact and precise in relation to the to what we think is perfect because what is perfect is that they get to express. So let's say that they go around the eye, let them draw the eye however they want. Yeah, this is going to be the sample and you are going to watch this video with them, okay? So they will already know 
know what is going on here. But when they make their work with us on Tuesday, they will take their own decisions because they have already a previous a previous knowledge. And of course they know. They know what they have on their faces. So they will associate whatever they have on their faces towards the drawing that they are going to create or they are going to associate the person that they are inspired on, the features of this person, and they are going to draw according to whoever they are inspired on. Yeah? The eyebrows, the eyebrows, yeah, and probably they would like to have a little, some, some, some children are more demanding with the details and they will probably ask you to have um, a black circle already cut for the pupil or also you can create a provocation we already went through this last week and leave these two circles maybe if you see that they are not doing anything with them you can ask where would you put these two circles where and let them put, let them put the circles wherever they feel like. You will never know what they can come out with, okay? Another thing that I am thinking is, in my case, that I am doing my grandma, my grandma used to wear a lot of blush, a lot of blush on her cheeks, so, if I see two pink circles, I will completely, like, automatically get the two circles and put them in her cheeks, on her cheeks. Why? Because I remember that she wore, you know, um, blush, right? So then another another element that we have that we haven't been uh, I haven't been paying attention to right now is the neck. So you can give them a rectangle and it doesn't have to be perfectly cut. You can just give them random shapes that have similar similar aspect of the things that they may use to assemble a face, right? So there you go. You have a face and a neck and hair and eyes and a nose and lips and the chicks and -da 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 -da. there's my grandma, grandma, grandma. Okay, so I invite you to uh, start getting things. You can even get stuff like um, like fabric. Maybe you could get fabric, pink fabric, and, and, and you can have them feel the, the different texture that the fabric gets, or maybe yarn instead of this. Be creative, be creative. Try to offer your children the most variety of materials that you have with different texture because the different sensations, remember they are discovering the sensations, the different things that they feel uh, through their senses is going to mean more enrichment for them. So, you know, here we are working together. This is teamwork and thank you very much for being part of the art class and being part of IAA. IAA, Early Childhood Production.
IAA strong.